So um, we we have arrived to Sabra. It's uh, where this uh, girl Arij lives. She um, she has a condition, a skin condition. No nobody can identify what it is. She's been to the hospitals here. She's been to Egypt. Um, she had a, a, some sort of skin condition previous to cast lead, um, but her father was killed. This condition spread to all of her body uh, to the point where she's really disfigured. She's not able to go to school because they have fear that it may be contagious since nobody knows what's the cause of it. Also in this area, uh, lots of white phosphorus was used. Uh, people were ingesting white phosphorus, so it could be a combination of psychological issues or that might not be a factor at all. It could simply be toxic reactions to the white phosphorus. Um, the bottom line is nobody knows. There's hope that maybe there could be some identification of the problem in Germany or somewhere else, but they're poor, they don't have money to get a visa, so they need help, uh, and we're gonna meet uh, Arij now and her mother. We go to Europe and see if we can find out more. Of course, they help. They help. I, I, I will try. I, I will let people know and we'll see if we can try and make something happen. Yusuf has some cookies for the reports. Okay, okay. She cannot wear shoes because of this. <coughs> so, going to Egypt to just stay with family or or specifically to see the doctors for of her? Of course, for see the doctors. That's treatment, for treatment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the last time, she co it cost uh, uh, $5,000 five thousand and half dollars. Five thousand half dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also before four thousand dollars. Ah, this area is uh, the most area that was affected by phosphor. Did it, did it get worse or stay the same or? Uh, it, get, it get worse. It did get worse. Yes, yes. Even though it was winter. Oh, oh. but that, yani, oh. oh, I think it's something related to also psychological. Yes. They call that it's because of the sport. So um, I'm here with uh, Arij and her family and uh, she's actually going back to Egypt in a couple of days. Um, nobody seems to know in Egypt or here in Gaza exactly what the condition is and it seems to be affected by the white phosphorus during cast lead but also psychological, understandable uh, stress, trauma, fear and things like this obviously would not help. But there seems to be some hope that perhaps uh, if she was taken to Europe that there may be some medical help that could be given to her there. Uh, but they don't have the money for the visa, they don't have money for the medical uh, care, and so there is no diagnosis. Obviously a diagnosis would be extremely important to figure out how we can help. Little Arij is not able to play with the children, they're fearful uh, that it's contagious, she's not allowed to go to school. Um, thankfully, she does have family who live in the same building, so she's able to play with her family, but uh, yeah, this is obviously not very good for a child's development to be sort of uh, isolated like this. And all it would take probably, or at least hopefully, is uh, money to be able to send her perhaps to Germany. There may be some help there, but um, as it stands, it's money and visas that are preventing this from happening. So hopefully we can do something there. What's your name? Ariz. 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 Ariz.
وين بابا؟ السن الجنة Yeah, they asking her about her name and where is your father? She told in paradise. Yes, she's asking. 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 Yes, she